you vlogmas day 22. Last night I made dough to make more crinkle cookies because we are down to one left in the former batch. So I'm about to make some crinkle cookies. Welcome room. Being such a comfy guy. Hi Mario, are you comfy? <laughs> yeah, my baby. Who's my baby? Mm -hmm. Give me those cheeks. Give me those cheeks. <laughs> and here's the fresh batch of the crinkle cookies. It kind of makes a smaller batch, which is why I ran out so fast. But I'll definitely be making, I think, mm, probably chocolate chips later today because I'm low on those too. Hello, again. <laughs> so it's been a while since I did my makeup for Vlogmas. I really haven't done it a lot, this Vlogmas at all, just kind of the way, because of the way all the timing has been, but I figured I have a couple new products I've been wanting to test out. So I thought I'd do a time-lapse right now and let you know what I think of the new products. And that's what I'm gonna do while I watch some YouTube. First thing I tried was something I bought at TJ Maxx, actually Marshalls. This is the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation. I bought this because Kelly Gooch got hers at TJ Maxx or Marshalls also, and she raved about it. And I actually think, like, the coverage is, like, really nice. Like, it doesn't look super matte. Like, I used the Smashbox Primerizer, so it's like a moisturizing primer. And then, I mean, I did set it. We'll get to that spray in a bit, but I actually like it. I did use concealer under spot conceal a bit and so far i'm liking the way it looks pretty sure i used to use this in college i don't know if it was the matte version though i don't remember next is this from the brow bar um i think it worked completely fine however i think it's like it takes so much longer using oh, using these little powders than just using a pencil which is usually why i don't reach for this stuff because I'm usually in a rush when I'm getting ready in the morning. I will say this is supposed to be a concealer that you, I guess, carve out your brows with. However, this is like medium deep, I'd say, shade wise. So that would never work on me. I do have this in the, sh in the dark shade. So it's basically br really dark brown and black. But I feel like I got it to work. The brow gel isn't the worst I've used. However, if you're familiar, I do prefer a clear brow gel. So this isn't something I'd go out and buy. This retails for... How many eggs? Huh? Eggs. How many eggs? Can I make eggs? Yes. This retails for $30. I would rather buy brow pencils than this. Then I went in with this. This I got in... I think it was a Sephora Play Box. This is the Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Warmth. I didn't actually... I didn't think it was super warm. I've definitely used warmer bronzers, but I actually like the way it applied and, and I approve. Are you okay, egg boy? It's trash right. That is trash right. Now I have two Ciate products. I got one in each of my boxes. The first is the Ciate London Marbled Light Blush in the shade Dusk. I will say I did watch people testing this out and they seemed disappointed that it was more of a mattifying blush, but I don't really mind that. I like to have like a variety of finishes in my collection and I actually really really like the shade. It's probably one of my favorite things I tried today so I'll definitely be using this. On the other hand I got the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter and I got a little concerned because when I first swatched it I mean 
it's like gold so when i was applying it i tried really hard to diffuse it so that it did not appear super gold on my skin tone but i mean this isn't something i would have bought knowing how gold it is if they make this in a lighter shade that's probably something i would have preferred personally now storybook cosmetics i got one of each of these so we have the little red riding hood and the little briar rose i decided i just wanted to test the little one before i went in and you know destroyed the bigger one so this is what little red riding hood looks like i used these four shades here and i mean i do like the look and i wanted to test the formula i think the formula is actually pretty good i actually want scott's opinion on this if scott has a second but this is what the little briar rose one looks like maybe i if you guys are interested in this i can try it in tomorrow's video let me know in the comments hey scott can you come here for a sec i'm one i'm wondering what you think of these two things do they look like books but they're not what do you think of them aesthetically they look really cool mm -hmm. like is this something like you feel like you'd like put on display because people would be like oh you're really you're really well versed in literature yeah <laughs> you know this see, is this like plagiarizing or whatever because these aren't this isn't the real story well the thing that i was upset about was this brand has a brands. has a mean girls palette they have a harry potter one so when i got like little red riding hood and little briar rose i was like i wanted the harry potter one or the mean girls one but i don't know it's just they're big so like it's not something I'd be able to keep in like my makeup drawer, but like do I like put it out on a shelf to display? I don't know. Why is the inside of this so dirty? Oh, I think it's supposed to look dirty, like it's been red. L O L. You sure? Yeah. It's like when you like have a school project where you have to like stain the paper in tea. That's yeah. it. You never did that? No. All the fancy kids did that. Let us know in the comments if you guys ever stained paper and tea for school projects because apparently Scott never did. Okay, the last product I tried is from INN Beauty Project and this is their dual face setting mist. I actually really liked this. I will continue to use this for sure. I thought it did a good job just kind of not setting the makeup but like melting all the powders together. So those are my reviews. Now we can do some advent calendars. Okay, time for advent calendars. We're on day 22, which means day 10 of the 12 days. 10's right here. This is from the brand, oh, sorry, this was the Urban Outfitters one. I didn't even say that. This is from the brand Truly. This is the Rose Gold Nourish and Condition Hair Mask. Rose Rice Protein and 24K Gold Boost. I have never heard of this brand, but I love hair masks, so I will definitely try this out. Now we have the Ulta Beauty Bath Calendar. Day 10 is here. It's wrapped up. Oh, how interesting. It's a candle. What is the scent? Spiced cookie. It smells good. Guys, I have a spoiler for you from my disappointing products. I burned, I tried burning the Ulta Beauty Pumpkin Spice Candle, but it gave me like a headache every time I burned it and I've never had that experience with a candle. So I'm kind of scared to burn this one, but I'll have to give it a try. Now have Target. Day 10 is here. This is from Pantene and this is their Cheat Day Dry Shampoo Foam. 60 second cleansing wash, no residue. I've tried the Whey Foaming Dry Shampoo and I absolutely hated it. I mean, I'll definitely give this one a try and see if I like it, but I already have my reservations about this. Oh boy, time for Reese's or PC's. Day 22 is up here. Oh God, it's, hey Scotty, do you want a Reese's? Either I have to eat it or you have to eat it, and I've eaten these I have for. To eat it. Yeah, that's how it works. I've eaten it for 21 straight days. <sighs> Happy December 22nd. Okay, now we have our ASOS calendar. Day 22 is right here. Ooh! Oh my God, this calendar is so good. This is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. 
This is a really good size of this product. This is the size I currently have open. First of all, it does come with a puff. I've never really used the puff, but it comes with this size, and this is a really good size. This takes me forever to go through. How much is this? 9.3 grams. One of my favorite powders. This has been maybe the best advent calendar I've ever had, besides Scott's. Okay, now we have... It's safe. Now we have the, how is your Reese's? Yeah. I know. That's why I had you eat it. Yeah. Somebody hasn't been watching my Vlogmas videos. Wow. Yeah, it's, if you read the back of the advent calendar, it says eat, like, used by January 2020, meaning they're all expired. Messed up. Five Below sold me that. All right. <laughs> now we have our QVC calendar. Mario, what are you doing with daddy? Oh, is daddy giving you all your kisses? You love kisses. You look like Mario with those headphones on. Oh my God, come here and show them how much alike you guys look. Yeah, Mario, can you come here on the camera for a minute? And here come my little boys with their black ears. He's so upset. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold him. And you come here with your little ears. Don't they look like they're related? He's so upset. I'm just gonna go. Bye, Mario. All right, back to QVC. 22 is right here. Okay, okay, we got a good one. We got the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I'm actually wearing this right now. I put some of this on this morning. I really do like this product. So it's not the biggest flop in the world for this calendar. Now we have the Yankee Candle. Day 22 is up here. I'm pretty sure this one is balsam and cedar. So good. All right, last we have the Scott Advent Calendar. Day 22 is right here. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, it's very heavy. This is the big thing. <laughs> Scott! What is it? It's gum! <laughs> the heavy days are gum. So this one is peppermint. I believe the other one was spearmint. I took the other one to work, so now but I have. You didn't think you'd get another gum. I didn't think I'd get another gum. Is you it probably the last thing you thought you would get. Yes, yes, it is. Surprise! <laughs> Who knows? There might be another bow. All right. The last thing we got to do is pick out a lip product. Pick it up. This is from the Ulta Beauty brand. This is their Velvet Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick. Of course, it doesn't have a shade because it's from the Advent Calendar, and why would many things have shade names? It's really thin, which I def it's really thin, which I definitely prefer when it comes to liquid lipsticks. And there you have it. My face is done. So I'll see you when I do the next thing. Okay. I'm going to make more chocolate chips. I just used the recipe on the back of Nestle chocolate chips. I said, sure, I'll do yoga with you. What? Whenever my cookies are done. Whenever what? My cookies are done. What's that? Maybe in like 15 minutes. Do you need this? No. <laughs> what are you doing? Is this your breakfast? No, it's probably pre-lunch. That's so gross. Somebody. So this is, is Christmas. Somebody is gagging watching this. What are your thoughts on the topic of salmonella? This is a great time to play. What's the game when I have my headphones on, I can't hear what you're saying? <laughs> the whisper challenge. 
Comment down below if you want us to play the Whisper Challenge with Scott's annoying new headphones. I think it's called the Whisper Challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do, do that. Say a word. Chameleon. I'm thinking. Chameleon. Comedian. Chameleon. Chameleon. Here you go, third time's a charm. Mm. One of Mario's favorite pastimes is dying in front of the space heater. <laughs> he is a boy who loves to be very warm. And he loves having hot air blown on him. Mario, are you a happy boy? Yeah, you love hot air. And just like that, the chocolate chip cookies are done. Two dudes. We are two dudes. Just hanging out. Luigi's! Come in, Luigi! He's so weird, isn't he? We're out in the car again, and we're heading to my absolute favorite restaurant to get lunch today. I'm excited. And we have a Visa gift card that's gonna treat us to lunch today, which is even more exciting. Do you have an AirPod on? Huh? What the heck? What'd you say? Are you serious? What? Everyone tell him that he can't do that when he's driving because it's not safe. You can do that. It's like having a headset. And you're not supposed to do that when you drive either. Yes, you are. So you can have hands-free calling. It's just to do blue juice. This is blue juice. But you're not just having it in your ears because you can't hear when the sirens go off. I have one headphone and the other is not. Just like if you had a, a, a microphone. Very safe. I don't agree. Goodbye. I forgot to record before we started eating. I recorded. This is the vegetarian quesadilla. Mm, that was the fajita quesadilla in action. Go ahead. Thank you so much for helping us feed the cat's heart away. Oh, come on. That was my pleasure. What you... Could process the price of the bottom. Don't <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. Thank for your you. new house to enjoy. Aw, that's so pretty. You don't have to Thank worry about you. breaking it. Thank you. I think it's plastic. I meant it, it's double walled so it won't yeah, it's sweat. Just, I mean, it it's sweat too. Sweat. I mean, Disney Cruise Line. You can put your, uh, your Aww, frozen, frozen fruits in there. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. 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 I'll show you. Let's go. Let's go. Oh Let's go. my god, they all look too delicious. Okay, so these are, and then you can open them. These are like crinkle cookies. Crinkle. These are blizzard. These are chocolate chip. <gasps> these are gingerbread. Oh my god. These, what is this? These are cake batter. Oh. These are R2D2. <laughs> these oh. are brownies. Oh my so, god. Do you know who's who that is? Mm. That's a that's a special character in the Star Wars universe. Is it? Yeah. Uh is it um um oh I can't think of his name. Uh yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah. Yo Yoda Yo. No, that's baby Yoda. Oh really? Was there a baby in the story? Great question. Was there? Well, was there? Am I allowed to know? Was there a baby Yoda in the story? <laughs> was there a baby Yoda in the story? Hey, okay. guess what it is? It is the first night of Hanukkah, so we obviously will be taking a commercial break from the Eagles game to say the prayers. <laughs> hey Google, what time is sundown? 
The sun will set at 4.38 p.m. Past sundown. Before I go, I'd like to know how satisfied you are with that last experience. How would you rate it if one's the worst and five's the best? Five. <laughs> this is an annual Hanukkah tradition, reading Google. <laughs> A little, a little shaky. It's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> happy Hanukkah! This is the end of the vlog, so say Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah! <laughs>